Hey guys, it's Pia here. Today I have a really exciting custom to show you guys. Uh, this one is actually based on a design that I commissioned a fellow artist to make for me. Uh, the artist's name is Louise Drawings on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description for you so you can see that and get to her account. And she is only 14 years old and she is incredibly talented. Uh, from the moment I saw her pictures on Instagram, I was completely mesmerized and I had to follow her because she's amazing. And uh, yeah, at some point she mentioned that she was was open for commissions and I thought it would be really cool to have her design a few original characters for me and this one was my favorite out of the bunch that she designed for me and I was so excited to make the custom but it's been taking me a while uh, to finally make it but uh, yeah today I got it done and I'm so excited to show it to you and I'm going to show you the sketch first because that one is so gorgeous and I'm not lying when I say that she is incredibly talented so uh, I'm just going to show that to you and I'm just going to point out a few things that I changed on it uh, and kind of explain why so here goes so here is the gorgeous gorgeous sketch that Louise drew for me um, as you can see the base that she used is a short hair kitty which is awesome because that is a base that I normally don't really know what to do with because people love that base and I feel like whatever I design is kind of underwhelming <laughs> but yeah so she designed this amazingly gorgeous sort of Egyptian style cat and as you can see here on its back and kind of covering its back legs you can see that it has some textile that is transparent and obviously I couldn't sculpt anything like that because uh, I didn't have anything that could be molded into that and that would be transparent so I did actually just sculpt a solid thing on there as a, like as a cape looking thing but I'm going to show it to you and I tried my best to make it look very flowy and pretty like it was made from a textile but yeah <laughs> you can imagine that it doesn't look exactly like this but it's uh, I tried my best and as for the eyes um, because she's looking to the side I decided uh, to make the eyes look more forward instead and yeah they look slightly different from this because obviously there's some sort of shading going on here in the eyes and i don't have an airbrush so i couldn't do it exactly like this but yeah without further ado i'm going to show you the custom and i'm so excited to show it to you guys and i hope that you like it Ta-da! so here is my finished egyptian kitty custom uh i definitely love how she turned out and i put this uh, metallic shimmer here on the cape to make it a little bit more interesting looking than just having a solid white kind of cape on her and uh, as for the eyes, I really love their design and in the sketch actually she has these sort of eyelids going on um, with these like stripes that symbolize her eyelids and I thought that they really gave her an interesting expression which is why I painted them onto the figure as well and it totally changed up the face and I actually really love this so I might use this with some other customs as well. Um, it just makes her look really gentle and sweet and I just love it. Um, I can see now that with this lighting, uh, this blue looks really, really very blue. Uh, it's actually more of a teal color. I don't know if it shows very well. Um, this lighting isn't maybe the most flattering for it, but uh, it's definitely more teal color than, than blue. Um, but yeah, she just has a gorgeous, very simple color scheme to her. And I am so happy that I finally got this done. And Louise, if you're watching, I hope that you love how this turned out. Um, yeah, <laughs> I had a lot of fun commissioning her and as I said, uh, there's a link in the description to get to her Instagram page. Please go and show her love. If you have an Instagram account, you can go and follow her and she actually does animations as well. And once again, I have to say this, uh, she's only 14 years old and she is amazingly talented. So please go show her some love and yeah, she is definitely one of my favorite artists to follow on Instagram. She is just amazing. Um, she's also done some fan art for me uh, for... Um, based on my forever love video, which was it, it almost you know brought me to tears because it was so beautiful. So definitely go show her some love. And uh, as for this custom, I don't know yet if I'll be keeping it or selling it. Originally, I had planned on keeping it because I love the idea of having something that symbolizes mine and Louise's collaboration. However, I do need money right now, <laughs> quite badly. So I'm gonna have to look into maybe selling her, but. Um, it's not something I do lightly because I do love her and I really love the design from the minute I saw it so it would be with a very very heavy heart that I would let her go but I'm gonna look into that and I'll definitely let you guys know if I do put her up for sale but yeah that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it um, and yeah I hope that you guys are having an amazing weekend mine got better because I got my computer fixed and I can now put up videos again which is great <laughs> but yeah uh, that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and see you again tomorrow bye